Hello my dear students and friends. Welcome to my session on SOLIDWORKS in 21 days. We are on day 13. Today we see about some more features like uh, flex, dome, scale and more importantly how to get help from uh, SOLIDWORKS because all the way you cannot uh, get the help from the YouTube videos. Uh, while working you have to get, uh, get the help uh, uh, whenever you are struggling with uh, the usage of some particular command. Okay, we will see those things also. Let us see exercise number 19. The flux we will see first. New part I want to use a hexagonal hexagonal uh, uh, frustum of hexagonal pyramid divergent type maybe by base is 40 then let me fillet something sketch fillet here this is the feature fillet this is the sketch fillet so let this be 4 mm my fillet angle be the 4 mm I filleted all the 6 corners uh, if you feel the filleted is not sufficient you can double click you can increase it you can still increase it Okay, so sketch is over. Straight away, I'm going for extrusion of boss extrude of up to 80 mm, draft outward, maybe say 20 degree or so, uh, 20 degree seems too large. Okay, let it be 10 degree. a divergent type right and now let me use the flex command here insert feature flex this time I am going for twisting. There are four options. Okay, I will tell you only about twisting. Okay, or even bending also I, I, we can see. Okay, let us see twisting first. I am selecting this plane, this face. Then to twist it, now let me, you see, the moment I bring my cursor here, now I can twist it now. I I, I am uh, I selected by clicking the left but clicking uh, clicking the left button. Okay, this way. Yeah. Okay. So twist is in, introduced here minus forty seven. You know, so plus forty five. Let it be. So uh, the twisting angle is forty five degrees. You see what happens now it is twisted at an angle of 45 degrees okay then the flex is over now let me go for uh, editing of the flex again we go back instead of twisting if it is bending you will get this kind of shape this kind of shape. You try by yourself about the remaining taper stretching and all. Okay, it, it, each and everything eh, it will take some time to understand better about uh, how the solidworks software works. You see, this is the top front view, side view, top view, the line drawing, front view side view 
and top view isometric view and so on let me fill at the bottom side with a fillet uh, radius of say let us say 10 mm okay oh this that edge alone has been filleted uh, instead of edge let me delete let me delete the edge let me select the face you see what happens all the edges are filleted now let me go for shell uh, shell thickness of maybe 2 mm thickness or 1.5 mm thickness I entered a couple of shake yeah, I get it a cup like, sh cup like shape I got it a hollow one is something like a sheet metal now let me roll back the shell portion is rolled back now if I cut it it's a solid now if I enable the shell also now you see that okay so that is it so like this uh, you can create a flower vase and uh, other uh, things also let me undo this one uh, let me delete the shell okay uh, what is the file name x is 19 x is 19 uh, dome okay so insert feature dome let me choose this one face let me choose that face now you see that i will be slowly increasing the value the bulge you will get So this is about dome. Again, there are uh, in the editing there are some more parameters here: constraint point, a sketch, direction. If you use these things, you will get uh, a different shape onto the dome. Okay, let me delete this also. Now I am about to draw something over this particular surface. maybe 30 dia a cylinder maybe height 60 now if you enquire dia is 30 the distance between that face is this face is 60 that is what is given now I clicked only this feature and let me go for scale about the centroid I just want to reduce it to 50 percent that is 0.5 okay oh, all previously it was uh, thing now it is only 15 there yeah, but uh, the incidentally all the the full the full part is killed sorry the full part is killed sometimes you may require uh, these features uh, especially when you go for assembly okay so 50 percentage of one particular thing 70 percentage of one particular part uh, is alone is sufficient so that time you can use a scale in the part file right so this is about scale 
let me delete this scale then how to get uh, help how to get help now you see here there is a button called help okay now I'm, I'm clicking this launch local help go there maximize first you will get this kind of thing go for search suppose say if you want to get to know about a different uh, command uh, sweep command type uh, sweep and enter uh, you will get a list uh, that contains uh, various help related to sweep ok so let me choose the first one so it is about uh, set the Swiss property manager option based on the Swift feature sketch a profile and a path so this is how you can go for a you can get a help right let me type boss or extrude boss extrude boss extrude the extrude property manager so this is the extrude property manager so you will get all the helps sometime you may have a, a small video also the, uh, available in the help you can just play that also we'll, let me see loft loft of beams and trusses no help loft property manager Yeah, transparent preview sometimes you may have a examples of uh, sketch feature examples of let me back laughs Loved with the start and end constraints. So, like that, you'll get uh, help from uh, various uh, topics. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me erase this also. Let me have this as a shell enter so it is something like a flower vase ok or a teacup ok uh, this is the shaded with edges if you remove the edges it will look like this it will look like this you will see it in a different color So this is how it looks. Okay, so it's a very short uh, video this time. Today's uh, session is a very short time, uh, video actually, but. Uh, uh, you will underst you understood about uh, the uh, flex uh, dome scale and how to get help especially right from my session actually okay so we have almost uh, i i took uh, some basic examples only for your better understanding even yesterday i showed one complex uh, machine you know so uh, feed income cutting so it, it had uh, nearly more than 15 20 parts it has okay uh, over and above the standard parts like nut bolt screws uh, mounting uh, mounts for uh, the electronics and other things uh, those things were not shown there okay so if you consider all these things uh, that particular machine uh, probably uh, it, it would have uh, 
nearly more than 10 different uh, 100 different parts right okay so this is sufficient for today's thing tomorrow we may either see will be either seeing about uh, yeah how to design an injection molding die for a part or some basics on surface okay some basics only not more okay thank you